Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're going to be working on the 2017 No Lathe Pen Challenge. They said no lathe, they didn't say anything about a CNC mill. So today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a piece of firewood. I had a log. I, I own a uh, Carter lumber mill um, for, just, for just such an occasion. And I took some uh, firewood that I've had that's seasoned. You can kind of tell the bark just kind of peeled right off. And I sliced it down. And then some of this wood, I really kind of liked the grain. I don't know if you can see that. So I really liked kind of the coloration that was in this piece. So I thought, why can't I use that? So my plan is to get this put onto the CNC. I have to be careful how I orient it because I need it to be straight so I can get the most yield out of this. And then I'm just going to cut a series of discs, essentially. I'm just going to cut a series of discs out of this board uh, with a hole milled exactly for the uh, pen kit that I got uh, at Rockler. We'll give it a shot. I'm not a pen turner. Uh, I must admit I've never made a pen uh, at all in my life. So I... I it's the first time. So I thought, well, what better what better thing for me to get started on making a pen than one without a lathe? Because I've never made one on a lathe either, so I don't know what I'm missing. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this. I've got a file that I'll transfer over to the CNC machine, and then we'll, we'll get cutting out. All right, so let me get this mounted, and uh, we'll come back. just gonna be a hideous pen. I hope you like your pen I give you. I really hope you do like it because it's ugly as shit. Who knows by the end of this it might be round. This is probably one of those that I'm gonna have to keep because it was my first pen but I won't want to show anybody. Hey if nothing else I can always uh, order more of this tube stuff just put a new pen around it. Where the heck is the pen part here? I got the two tubes. Now this part goes in there. This is supposed to be some kind of center ring dividery thing. Shit. Huh. Well, that's ugly. That ain't gonna work. We just forget that shit. We just forget that shit right there. Oh yeah, this is good stuff right here. So basically this is supposed to go in here and then this is supposed to go here and then this comes on here somehow and slide, slide, slippity slides together like that there. And then you just have a piece of junk ugly pen. My gosh. Not uncommon for me to lose stuff. I say you could ask my wife but... I don't think she'd stop laughing long enough to give an answer. Does Brian lose things? <laughs> oh, look at that. Right there. The part I'm looking for. Damn tape. That is an ugly pen. I don't care who you are. That ain't going to win no beauty comp competition here. That's for sure. That is not going to win no competition. Hey, no lathe pen challenge. Look at me. I made a pen right here. I happen to make a pen that's ugly. Ugly. Can I say it? Can I say that on camera? That is ugly. That is one ugly pen. So maybe this is going to be a big fat fail. 
What do you think? Big fat fail? Huh? Big fat fail for old Harv here making a pen. Well, trying to trying to make a pen. Pen. No lays pen challenge. Take 72. Ooh, that's smooth, but hot as hell. Get out, jeez. Huh. Well, friction is an amazing thing, but I think we're gonna have to abandon this one because I can see the crack in the, uh, I can see the crack right here. Let's see if it'll focus in on that. There's a crack right here, but that just was a check in the wood. Um, All right, so. Let's see what this, if this is even possible as an alternative. I don't suppose they'd let me enter the pin challenge without actually making a pin, right? I mean, I tried to make a pin without a lathe. Maybe that's why I need a lathe. You know, I'm having a hard time making a pin without a lathe. I know it can be done. I've seen other videos. I'm inclined to uh, submit, you know, my my pen challenge and just show a few failures and go look this is why i need to win that's what i have to do i have to take this failure and make it a success it's only a failure because i say it's a failure but that doesn't mean it has to fail all right so we're gonna we're gonna try and turn this uh what i'm thinking is a failure into our pen submission because it can't get any worse. So we've roughed up our brass tube a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put on some gloves because I imagine this is going to be a little bit messy. We're going to use uh, some 2P10 uh, CA glue from Fast Cap to. Uh, to glue our blank together. This, this failure may turn out to be not half bad because it's, it's a, a different grain um, direction than, than you would normally see on a pen, I think. All right? Normally you see the grain you know, running um, vertically or horizontally, let's say. This is going to run vertically, so it's a little different. In that respect. But my pen is going to be shorter. As I understand it, that's not generally that's not generally seen as being a good thing. For whatever reason I can't find the barrel trimmer that I purchased. So we're gonna what I did is I just uh, I used a sander and I just Sanded it flush, so hopefully, hopefully they're good. And I'm just going to take a little knife here and make sure I get any burr off of the inside of that there. I guess you just kind of get these started in here, and then you need to press them. But I don't have a pen press. I wonder if I could use this thing. No, that don't go far enough. Let me just use a clamp. Let's try this. Try and get it lined up in there. That one went in. 
Come on now. Okay, let's, let's say that's good. All right, so we've got the the front pressed in and uh, kind of shave that down a little bit. Yeah, it feels good. Grab it out of there. I just need to find the nut for that. <laughs> Let's try and press this part in now. Okay. That's in. Now, here we go. I closed up. Closed right up. Yeah, that looks sharp. Now we can take that off. Perfect. Hmm. You know what? For, for a failure, I think it turned out pretty dang on nice. I'm not going to complain too much. That's a faux show. I say we just put some uh, oil on it. We'll put a little of this uh, Formby's tongue oil on for finishing. All right. Well, there's our final pen, our finished product. This is for the No Lathe Pen Turning Challenge. Turned out good.